This video presents the manufacturing and learning processes used to produce a sea turtle inspired robot. This robot, called Sea Turtle, is designed to traverse granulate media using a pair of laterally mounted fins. These fins are interchangeable, permitting exploration of fin morphology for more effective locomotion. The anterior end of the robot is curved dorsally to prevent the front end from digging into the substrate, however the rest of the body is flat. Motion is achieved using paired four bar mechanisms, with two per fin, enabling each fin to move with two degrees of freedom. Each four bar mechanism, in turn, is controlled by a single servo motor. The motors receive commands from an onboard Raspberry Pi and are battery powered. The robot is constructed as a single laminate device comprised of five layers. The upper and lower surfaces are made of cardboard and are fixed with an adhesive backing as shown in the lower left hand corner. Hinge designs and mounting holes are cut into each layer using a laser cutter. The cut layers are stacked together over a central uncut layer of thin plastic sheeting, which acts as a hinge. The entire device is then cut from the laminate and bonded using a t-shirt press. This manufacturing process takes approximately 50 minutes. After laser cutting, the body is folded into shape and assembled with servo motors, plastic servo horns, and fins, which are firmly held in place by removable plastic rivets. Additional components, such as batteries and onboard Raspberry Pi, are then mounted on the body using electrical tape and rivets. In total, this process takes under an hour from the initiation of laser cutting to final assembly. By contrast, 3D printing of the plastic servo horns takes 58 minutes. These processes are done simultaneously to minimize construction time to one hour in total. At this point, the robot is now ready for use in machine learning experiments. A sample efficient reinforcement learning method was used to converge on optimal locomotion policies within a small number of robot trials. This algorithm can uncover optimal policies after a few iterations with only hundreds of samples. Learning experiments were conducted both in a laboratory setting and in the desert near Phoenix, Arizona. In the laboratory, five independent learning sessions were conducted for four different fin designs, with 10 policy search iterations for each session, yielding a total of 1,050 policy executions per fin over a period of two to three hours. The artificial environment used poppy seeds as a substitute for actual sand and relied on an articulated robot arm to reset the environment after every trial. This was done to minimize human involvement and randomness in the learning process. A reward was calculated after every execution as the pixel distance traversed by a blue target affixed to the robot. These trials were repeated in the desert environment to test how policies transfer between environments and whether policies learned in situ are more effective than policies learned in other environments.